Today we are here with Dr. Gregory Piazza from Brigham and Women's Hospital, who is the Education Chair of the North American Thrombosis Forum. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Alex. There was some very important information released today concerning the Aristotle trial involving apixaban and warfarin for stroke prevention in atrial fibrillation. Can you share with us the results that were released today? Sure, Alex. So Bristol-Myers Squibb and Pfizer released the top-line results of their Aristotle trial today. In this trial, they found that apixaban met its primary efficacy objective of being non-inferior to warfarin for prevention of stroke in patients with non-valvular atrial fibrillation. Even more interesting than that, apixaban met a secondary endpoint of being superior to warfarin for prevention of stroke and major bleeding. Why are these data important for patients who suffer from atrial fibrillation? Well, atrial fibrillation is one of the most common causes of stroke in both the United States and worldwide. Up until recently, we only had warfarin for stroke prevention as an anticoagulant medication. There have been many drugs being researched for stroke prevention in atrial fibrillation, and last year, the United States FDA approved dabigatran for stroke prevention in nonvalvular atrial fibrillation. Apixaban is of particular interest because the data suggests that it may be a more effective and even safer alternative to warfarin. However, we'll need the full results of this clinical trial before we can determine what place apixaban has in the prevention of stroke for patients with nonvalvular atrial fibrillation. Thank you for joining us today, and we will stay tuned for more information concerning atrial fibrillation.